Good morning and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with a pour on an MDF, a piece of MDF. Ooh. Um, I have put, I this was just raw MDF and so I have coated it both sides in, in gesso. Um, more so to hope that it doesn't warp my card. So, and I'm using these stands from Molly's Artistry. You know, the lovely Molly. Um, I will try and put, I'm not sure if Molly's got a, a separate link to these stands. Molly sent them to me, um, but I'm not sure if she's got a separate link. I will find out. Otherwise, I will just give you the link to Molly's um, Molly's YouTube channel. So, okie doke. I've put these under here because it's MDF. I can't put my push pins in them. Oh, and now my thing's sticking to it. So, just one second, let me get. So, I'm just thinking that this will hold it because I haven't got to tilt this one uh, for what I have planned to do on it. So, like I said, I just give it a light coat of gesso and. Um, yeah, because it's just raw, so I just didn't want it to, um, you know, bend or anything. So, I am doing this to fit in, inside, this frame that I bought. So, when this is painted and I'm going to resin it, then I'll sit it inside this frame. So, this was a frame I bought from our local um, Kmart store. I think they were like $15 or something. Well, I couldn't have a piece that's res that will be resined uh, in a frame for $15. So, you know, what a bargain. So hope that uh, you guys are all able to get something similar if, if, if this turns out how I hope. So it's 87 centimeters by 21 centimeters. So quite long, but it's skinny, long and skinny, just like I wish I was. And I'm short and telly tubby. <laughs> anyway, I used to be short and skinny. Now I'm, I'm short and telly tubby. Okie doke, cuddly as my husband would say. Right here, whatever works best for us, that's it. <laughs> So I am doing this for my daughter-in-law that has a red in her lounge, a red lounge, red leather lounge. So I'm going to put some red in there, but I think I'm going to try and give it a bit of spin with some red, gold and wine colour maybe. Or I would just um, see, I was going to do a champagne back, but I think I'm going to just stick with the white and uh, just see how we go if it doesn't turn out this was really a very um, inexpensive project because that piece of MDF I think my husband bought quite a big sheet and he's gone and cut it um, into the sizes for different frames that I've bought from um... oh, yeah. it's a bit dusty because I've got a bit of dust going on in here um, this was another frame we bought from the Kmart here in Australia. So he's cut me some pieces out to go in there. So I'll paint them, resin them and sit them in the, in the nice frame. So hopefully there might be a few Christmas presents there and they're finished off really nicely in the frame. So um, it'll be all good, all good. Rightio, let's get this moving, moving. I think I might need a little bit runnier, so I might just put some in a cup, add a bit of water to it. I'll spread that out, but then the top coat, I want to do a bit runnier so I can blow my other colours about. I've got to try and really, um, I've got to try and really not, leave a bit of negative space, I think, on this. I think, <laughs> I hope. So, so those um, stands that of Molly's 
work perfectly for this just look because I haven't got to lift it up and and tilt it or anything so for Dutch paws those little um stands from Molly's artistry work brilliant so thank you Molly thank you thank you you lovely lady kind enough to send me those it's very kind of her Rightio. Oh, I'm so excited about this piece because I'm really hoping that when it's resined and that it's just, I'm just going to have it sitting in that frame. I'm not going to have glass over it as well. I'm just going to have it sitting in the frame. It's just the frame that I've really wanted. So as to, um, yeah, just make it look more finished type thing. Just add a little bit more water. I just want to be mindful that this blows where I want it to blow. Rightio. I might go just put in some on. So I've got some to blow around. So I'll kind of do, I think, I'll put it on like a zigzaggy like a ropey ropey effect so this is the cool red <laughs> and i've got a good dash of my um pearl mist it's my absolute favorite at the moment um because it's given my dark colors a really nice a really nice uh, glistening effect so it might need a little bit more red than that, but we will see. So this is my Berry Delicious, the one that I make with cool red, uh, a squirt of phalo blue and a blob of black. And it makes like a really dark cherry, black cherry looking thing. So I've got to really try and... Um, be restrained not too much i think i just want to put a bit more of the red in i mean with the white in there it's going to go quite pink and i don't really want it to go pink i'm going to put a bit of gold in so i might weave this in and out like rope it And you know, I think that I should leave it at that. Look, if this doesn't turn out, um, if it doesn't go how I envisage, then it's only a little bit of paint that I can scrape it and start again. So it's worth trying to get your project right if you've got something in mind, especially if you're doing it for somebody else. Now, this little dryer, hair dryer, it's called, let me just untangle it. It's called a mini Bayless travel dryer and I found it in a charity shop. And it's just a terrific little dryer because it's actually just the right force, uh, you know, when it's on high, it, it's not too high that it blows it absolutely everywhere. So I'm really happy with this find because I haven't been able to find one on the internet anywhere. So um, I know people have been asking me. So I was looking to see if I could get a link to one. And I don't think they make these particular ones. They obviously make um, other little uh, travel hair dryers. But this with this little bendy handle, it just is a perfect to hold it and blow it. Anyway, without further ado, let's get cooking. Okay, I'm gonna put it on high. I'm gonna try and slow down and be mindful. Oh. Oh my. 
my goodness. That is flipping, flopping, beautiful. Okay. Oh, just one little blow, she says. Please drawing gods be with me. That is beautiful. <sighs> Those colours that really um my berry delicious. It's almost very black, very uh, black cherry-ish, but it just I think is the right amount. I know that it probably could do with a little bit of blowing out to soften the edges. Now, I'm just hoping because I've got a fair bit of this white on here that it, because it's not a canvas, it's MDF, I, you know, it won't absorb like it would do into a canvas, but I'm going to really, really hope that this doesn't um, crack because I really am very, very happy with that. And yes, I am allowed to say that I'm happy with my own work. Very happy with that. Beautiful. So just trying to thin it out a bit. So I hopefully, hopefully, hopefully don't get any um, cracking because it's the paint is still thick. What have I done here? That's okay. It's all fixable. I am so happy with that. When that is resined and in that frame, that will look super duper. I'm gonna bring you down to have a look at some of the lacing. It's gorgeous. I'm so happy with that. So just dab your sides and I'll bring you down. Okie dokie. Come on down, look at this gorgeous effects in here i mean there's some flatter areas which is beautiful and then some lacy areas it is just gorgeous my dog's all trotting in now it's i am super duper happy with this so fingers crossed that it dries on this MDF really well and doesn't crack. I'm thinking maybe I should have given two coats of the gesso gesso. Look at that. Oh my goodness. You come to see us? Yes. <laughs> come to, oh, and you've got to see me too. Come to see me in the art room. You're going to get paint everywhere, kids. Yes, so that's the puppies. Look at this, though. Super, super gorgeous. Oh, wouldn't this be fantastic if you had a great big, hey Benson, long um, uh, splashback or, or what do you call them in the US? Splashback? Backsplash? We call them splashback in Australia and I noticed on the US shows you call them back, uh, splashbacks. Backsplashes or whatever. <laughs> I can't even get the whole thing in look. So there you go. There's a run of it. I um, know that this will absolutely pop with resin. So fingers crossed, people. Thank you so much. I know I'm blabbering on. Okie dokie. Until tomorrow, you please take care of yourselves. You're feeling sad, lonely. Anything in between. Ring a friend or a family member or a helpline. Do not suffer in silence. Um, there is always somebody there for you. So until tomorrow, you beautiful people, thank you so much for joining me. Bye for now.